The Boundless Video Crew has spent over a week researching Monique Billings' life, your life, Monique, Miss Billings, and coming up with questions that they are interested in knowing the answers to. My name is Kendra, and my question for you is what inspired you to play basketball? Hi, Kendra. Well, my dad inspired me to play basketball. Um, I was I was five years old. I was, yeah, five years old and super girly. I love wearing dresses and I love dressing up. And one day he asked me, do you want to play basketball? And I really didn't want to play. It didn't sound too fun to me, but I wanted to make him happy. So I said, okay, dad, I'll try it out. And he was like, well, you can't wear a dress when you play basketball. So I had to give up my dresses just for the game. And I ended up playing and I loved it. I had fun. I was playing with some of my friends in the neighborhood on the team. And um, I've just loved it ever since. I'm Sarah, and my question is, what are some of the challenges you had to become a professional basketball player? Hi, Soraya. So some of the challenges that I faced in becoming a professional basketball player are discipline, making sure I take care of my body, making sure I'm eating right, getting enough sleep. I had to be very disciplined and understand that it takes a sacrifice. You know, you have to put a lot of time into what you want to do, whatever it is in life, you want to be great. It takes time, it takes sacrifice, and it takes a lot of discipline. My name is Danielle Jackson. What are some tips on chasing your dreams? So some tips on chasing your dreams. Don't let anyone stop you from chasing your dreams. You know, it's easy to listen to people and people who are around you who might say, oh, you can't do that. You're not good enough to do that. Don't listen to any of that. If you feel in your heart that you're called to do something and you know that whatever you're being called to do is your purpose, go after it with all that's in you. And don't let anyone stop you while you're on the way. I just want to encourage you guys to dream big and don't let anyone stop you or take you off the path of your dreams. Uh, hi, I'm Cameron, and my question is, what, what lessons did you learn from basketball and how do you use them in everyday life? Enjoying the moment. I feel like that's the biggest lesson that I've learned. And just learning to appreciate the people around you, learning how to be a good teammate. You're willing to sacrifice, making sure that you're willing to be the best that you can every single day and just showing up, doing your job. And at the end of the day, being able to say, I was full when I started the day and I'm empty and I'm ready to go again tomorrow. Hi, my name is Roya and my question is, how do you like Boundless? How do I like Boundless? Well, I would say I love Boundless because there's no end point. There's so many things that can come from being boundless. There's so many places you can go, so many people you can meet and so many experience to be had by having an open mind to be boundless. I think with being boundless, I'm challenging myself and I'm challenging all of you, lovely young ladies, to be better than yesterday, not as good as tomorrow. Always wanting to be the best version of yourself. If you had a bad day today, have a good mindset that you're gonna wake up and have a, good, a better day tomorrow. And just always trying to challenge yourself, always trying to be better and be the best version of you.